let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today he will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation, as in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation, and said, It is a people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways, unto whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, consider mine adversity and deliver me, for I do not forget thy law. Avenge thou my cause and deliver me, quicken me according to thy word. Health is far from the ungodly, for they regard not thy statutes. Great is thy mercy, O Lord, Quicken me as thou art wont. Many there that are trouble me and persecute me, yet do I not swerve from thy testimonies. It grieveth me when I see the transgressors, because they keep not thy law. Consider, O Lord, how I love thy commandments. O oh, quicken me according to thy loving kindness. Thy word is true from everlasting. All the judgments of thy righteousness endure forevermore. Princes have persecuted me without a cause, but my heart standeth in awe of thy word. I am as glad of thy word as one that findeth great spoils. As for lies, I hate and abhor them, but thy law do I love. Seven times a day do I praise thee because of thy righteous judgments. Great is the peace that they have who love thy law and they are not offended at it. Lord, I have looked for thy saving help and done after thy commandments. My soul hath kept thy testimonies and loved them exceedingly. I have kept thy commandments and testimonies, for all my ways are before thee. Let my complaint come before thee, O Lord. Give me understanding according to thy word. Let my supplication come before thee. Deliver me according to thy word. My lips shall speak of thy praise when thou hast taught me thy statutes. Yea, my tongue shall sing of thy word for all thy commandments are righteous. Let thine hand help me, for I have chosen thy commandments. I have longed for thy saving help, O Lord, and in thy law is my delight. Let my soul 
live and it shall praise thee, and thy judgments shall help me. I have gone astray like a sheep that is lost. O oh, seek thy servant, for I do not forget thy commandments. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first lesson is written in the third chapter of the book of Joshua, beginning at the first verse. Joshua rose early in the morning, and they removed from Shittim, and came to Jordan, he and all the children of Israel, and lodged there before they passed over. And it came to pass, after three days, that the officers went through the host, and they commanded the people, saying, When ye see the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God, and the priests, the Levites, bearing it, then ye shall remove from your place, and go after it. Yet there shall, be not, there shall be a space between you and it, about two hundred thousand, about, excuse me, about two thousand cubits by measure. Come not near unto it, that ye may know the way by which ye must go, for ye have not passed this way heretofore. And Joshua said unto the people, Sanctify yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. And Joshua spake unto the priests, saying, Take up the Ark of the Covenant, and pass over before the people. And they took up the Ark of the Covenant, and went before the people. And the Lord said unto Joshua, This day will I begin to magnify thee in the sight of all Israel, that they may know that, as I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. And thou shalt command the priests that bear the Ark of the Covenant, saying, When ye are come to the brink of the water of Jordan, ye shall stand still in Jordan. And Joshua said unto the children of Israel, Come hither, and hear the words of the Lord your God. And Joshua said, Hereby ye shall know that the living God is among you, and that he will without fail drive out from before you the Canaanites and the Hittites, and the Hevites and the Perizzites and the Girgashites and the Amorites and the Jebusites. Behold, the ark of the covenant of all the earth passeth over before you into Jordan. Now, therefore, take ye twelve men out of the tribes of Israel, and of every tribe a man. And it shall come to pass, as soon as the soles of the feet of the priests that bear the ark of the Lord, the Lord of all the earth shall rest in the waters of Jordan, that the waters of Jordan shall be cut off from the waters that come down from above, and they shall stand upon a heap. And it came to pass, when the people removed from their tents to pass over Jordan, and the priests bearing the Ark of the Covenant before the people. And as they that bear the Ark were come into Jordan, and the feet of the priests that bear the Ark were dipped in the brim of the water, for Jordan, Jordan overflowed all his banks at all the time of harvest, that the waters which came down from above stood, and rose upon an heap very far from the city Adam, that is, beside Zaretan. And those that came down toward the Sea of the Plague, even the Salt Sea, failed, and were cut off, and the people passed over, right against Jericho. The priests that bear the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord stood firm on dry ground in the midst of Jordan, and all the Israelites passed over on dry ground until all the people were passed clean over Jordan. Here ends the first lesson. We praise Thee, O God, we acknowledge Thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship Thee, the Father everlasting. To Thee all angels cry aloud, the hands and all the powers therein. To Thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee, the goodly fellowship of the 
the prophets praise thee, the noble army of martyrs praise thee, the holy church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee. The Father of an infinite majesty, thine honorable, true, and only Son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ, thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon me to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee and we worship thy name of a world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. <clears throat> the second lesson is written in the ninth chapter of the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, beginning at the 37th verse. And it came to pass that on the next day, when they were come down from the hill, many people met Jesus. And behold, a man of the company cried out, saying, Master, I beseech thee, look upon my son, for he is mine only child. And lo, a spirit taketh him, and he suddenly crieth out, and it teareth him, that he foameth again, and bruising him, hardly departeth from him. And I besought thy disciples to cast him out, and they could not. Jesus answering said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you and suffer you? Bring thy son hither. And as he was yet a coming, the devil threw him down and tear him, and Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit, and healed the child, and delivered him again to his father. And they were all amazed at the mighty power of God. But while they wondered, every one, at all these things which Jesus did, he said unto his disciples, Let these sayings sink down into your ears, for the Son of Man shall be delivered into the hands of men. But they understood not this saying, and it was hid from them that they perceived it not, and they feared to ask him of that saying. Then there arose a reasoning among them, which of them should be the greatest, Jesus, perceiving the thought of their heart, took a child and set him by him. And he said unto them, Whosoever shall receive this child in my name receiveth me. And whosoever shall receive me receiveth him that sent me. For he that is least among you all, the same shall be great. <clears throat> and John answered and said, Master, we saw one casting out devils in thy name, and we forbade him because he followeth not with us. And Jesus said unto him, Forbid him not, for he that is not against us is for us. Here ends the second lesson. Bless be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, 
that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he swore to our forefather Abraham that he would give us, that we, being delivered out of the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <clears throat> I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee, and you thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. God, who at this time didst teach the hearts of thy faithful people by the sending to them the light of thy Holy Spirit, Grant us by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things, and evermore to rejoice in his holy comfort, through the merits of Christ Jesus our Saviour, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the same Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom. Defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance, to do always that is righteous in thy sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Confident that God hears us when we cry out to him in our need, we now place our petitions before him. For the church, that we may find ways to both preach the word and serve our neighbor, especially during this time of separation and crisis. That the spirit which descended upon the church at Pentecost continue to inspire Bishop Graham and all religious leaders, especially our archdeacons Stephen, Ian, and Karen, to be voices that both cherish and challenge. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For continued blessings upon the people of God at Kessingland, Gisalem, Kessingland, and Rushmere, and for clergy Mandy Bishop and reader Doreen Cowie, for the students and staff of the Kessingland C of E Primary Academy, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In union with our Anglican brothers and sisters across the globe, we pray for the Diocese of Nevada in the Episcopal Church and their Bishop Dan Edwards, and the Diocese of Alabama in the Episcopal Church and their Bishop John McKee Sloan. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For Elizabeth, our Queen, and all leaders of nations and peoples, that they may serve with wisdom, compassion, and humility all the people in their care. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For an end to the evils of racism, for the degraded whose lives are marked by this evil, and those for those who support them, that their protests may be heard and real change flower. For leaders, that their hearts may be opened to those who suffer, or if not, that they be removed from office. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who are on the front lines of this COVID-19 pandemic, especially our healthcare workers, for all who are unable to stay at home but must work to provide for their families, may God continue to protect them and keep them in good health. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered in our homes, that we may find comfort in the Lord when our hearts are troubled, and extend that comfort to others whose hearts are also troubled. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our sick and for all whom prayers have been asked, especially Tim, Rosemary and her family, Clarence and his sister, Deirdre, Father Alan, Paul, Leah and family, Megan and Derek, may the Holy Spirit shower healing power and new hope upon them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And for those who've gone before us in death, especially our recently departed brothers and sisters Samir, Kathleen, Brandina, and Ian, and those whose anniversaries of death fall at this time, especially Thomas Taylor, that they be drawn in the Spirit's tether for all eternity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time, with one accord, to make our common supplications unto thee, and does promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. <laughs>